are the signs of today, are they living in, are we living in the return of Jesus Christ or a new era of a kingdom age? We're going to dive into this subject today on reality of God. That's coming up next. Hello, all my awakening wonders out there. Thank you for joining me today back in the great outdoors on a very sultry summer day, very humid. But it's not that bad. It's actually kind of nice out today. Uh, I am not a big fan of heat and humidity, but today is uh, today it's not really that bad. I mean, it's about 88 degrees. I mean, the heat index is up there, but I lived in Texas for a few years, not too long ago, so I can't complain. It's not that bad. But anyways, enough about the weather. Uh, enough about what's going on. Of course, we'll talk about the weather because I think a lot of that relates to all the signs that are going on around us that we're seeing. And I know a lot of people are just asking question, question after question. Christians are kind of confused. Most Christians just assume that this is the this is the time of, you know, Christ's return, the rapture, and so forth. And I talked about I talk about this every 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 week. I try to get into the subject about every week. But today, I, I really something caught my eye today, and uh, it was in uh, Luke twenty one. Everybody knows that verse. That's when Jesus again. It's kind of like another um, another uh, writing of like Matthew twenty four and so forth. So it, a lot of it caught my eye and you know to be honest with you I thought it was pretty fascinating what I read. And I love I you could just read the Bible and over and over again and you, and it's just like wow and it just comes alive to you. It just it, that's been my taking ever since. But wow this is really cool. If you go down you read Luke 21. I don't have it like memorized by, by word for word but I'm going to try to do the best I can. They ask him of course uh what, what are these signs? When are these things going to happen? When are, when are you returning? Everybody wants to know that, right? <laughs> Am I right? Yes. We want to know these things. But you know, that's not how God works. God works. We need to work in faith. And work in faith in a lot of things. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So, when I read it, you know, Jesus pretty much... Explain the same things he did in Matthew 24. There'll be wars, rumors of wars. There'll be uh, earthquakes, uh, unusual weather events. Um, man will have fear. Men will be disobedient to parents and so forth. Uh, it will be, it'll be pretty much like we're seeing right now. Am I right? Am I right or am I right or am I right? Right, right, right. That is, yes, that is definitely what we're seeing right now. We are seeing these things take place. Like, you can't miss it. It's all around us. The signs are everywhere. But these are signs of birth pains. Remember, in Matthew 24, he says, Do not be deceived. There'll be wars and rumors of wars. But the end is not yet. But these are signs of birth pains. All there, black and white, clear as crystal. So, are we experiencing that in the year 2024? Oh my goodness, yes. And it's only going to get wilder and crazier. But that's why you're on this channel. That's why you're watching me. So we can just have a little, you know, hope. Maybe find some answers together. Because, again, I am not a prophet, nor am I a, uh, a theologian of any sort. You know, I've, I've basically uh, what you call street smart when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the Bible. Uh, I do read it. I do read it, you know, often. Um, but, you know... It's, it's one of those things I just really need to, like, really fathom and really meditate in the Word. And uh, it's, it's very important that you do that. But a lot of people are, you know, asking questions. And there's a couple of signs you need to look forward to, okay? Of course, we're seeing a very strong Antichrist spirit. We're seeing signs of, everybody talks about microchips and things that are mentioned in Revelation, you know, the number of the beast, 666. Uh, and, and it just, and yes, it is definitely, <laughs> there's no question in my mind we're seeing those things. But is it really end times that we're seeing? Is it really like a sign that people are just going to disappear left and right? 
and God's just going to rapture his church out and leave uh, judgment to the wicked? Not necessarily. Why I believe we're entering into like a kingdom come era, because there's all kinds of Bible evidence of this anywhere that you read in scriptures. But when you read Matthew 12, let, let's get down to Luke 21, okay? So Luke 21 mentions the same thing. Wars, uh, earthquakes, so forth. Volcanoes, we've seen plenty of that. Um, wild weather, all kinds of that right now going on. But what is it that Jesus is saying? He says, look up for the coming of the Son of Man in the clouds of glory. I find that interesting. When I read that, I was like, huh. You know, and I, I see a lot of comments of people, you know, sending me that. But absolutely, it represents, to me, it represents the coming of Jesus Christ. Um, but there is also Jesus mentioning the kingdom. Mentioning, you know, so many, like, so many things about the kingdom. And how it's mentioned, of course, in Ephesians about a church without spot or wrinkle, without void. We have to kind of blend all that. Ephesians 5.27. We have to blend in Habakkuk 2.14. We have to blend in also Matthew 24.14. All these things that are you know, prevalent to what we need to tell, you know, what, what's coming, okay? And why is it, why are there so many prophets now? Why are there so many prophets? And we're even still debating to this day if they're even, you know, legitimate prophets, if they are, you know, if they are uh, either deceiving us or drawing us away from God. And I've told you this before. Uh, when you listen to these prophets, are you, do you want to draw closer to God or do you want to just do whatever you want and sin and be like, oh, we got plenty of time? No, 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 absolutely not. That is extremely, extremely foolish. That is not where this is going because that is not what we're to do. You know, these prophets are saying to us, go out and preach, make disciples of nations. Is what Jesus commanded us to do after he descended into heaven. All there, black and white, clear as crystal. And that's written. It's written in the Bible. And so I, I know a lot of people are confused about everything. The end times are very confusing times. There is no question about that. Do you want my head to explode? In the name of all that is good and decent, no more for today! Heck, even I'm, you know, very much confused with everything we're seeing around us right now, okay? Because we're seeing the signs of Revelation and so forth. And I believe we're living in the book of Revelation. There's, there's no question about that. We're living in that time. Uh, you know, the seals and everything that are open. But a lot of people don't like reading the book of Revelation because it's scary. A lot of people are scared by it. But it's really not a scary book. It's really more of a, how should I say it? A book, it's, it's, it's think of the meaning of revelation. Revelation means revealing, okay? It's the revelation of Jesus Christ. It's revealing Christ to the world. And it's, we're in that point where we're like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace and they crank up the heat as high as it can go. And I'm feeling it right now. It's, it's, it's like a tropical jungle out here, but... <laughs> but, but, again, I put my faith in God because I know He's coming to uh, intervene. He's going to intervene in everything. And He always intervenes when times always get worse. You notice that? You read that? It's pretty pretty common in the Bible. So anyways, I'm just like, I'm just like still to this day, still believe we are entering into a, a generational kingdom age. 
God's timing is always perfect. And yes, there will be a, uh, I, I believe there will be a rapture. Of course there will be a rapture. I, I dreamt it. But it wasn't like we're seeing now. The dream that showed me was a very glorious atmosphere. It was not like what we're seeing now. And uh, a lot of people think, you know, they've, they've seen the movies, you know, Left Behind and so forth. To me, it's like, are you going to be in a plane and the Christian pilot, you know, goes off. Even The Simpsons did a parody. Uh, everybody's showing The Simpsons episode when, uh, you know, the left below thing. And uh, it's kind of funny watching that. You know, the guy's in the back, he's having an affair with his wife and he's kissing the girl and then they're in the back of a limo and then he goes, what happened to my born again Christian limo driver? Had he disappeared? <laughs> Things like that. It's pretty funny. But to be honest with you, I, I really don't see that kind of like scenario happen. It could, it could be, I, I don't know. It really doesn't say in the Bible how it's gonna happen, you know. Just 1 Thessalonians 4, 17 is kind of really our only clue of how it's going to uh, appear. What I saw was not like anything what we saw there. I saw it all happen. And I think, I think, that the Bible clearly says that I think everyone will see the coming of the Son of Man. They'll actually see it, you know, with all the technology we have with, with drones and, and uh, cameras everywhere and surveillance. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see it. But that's not the point. I think, you know, it's going to be a, a glorious time. But going back to what I was saying about the prophets, um, if a prophet is stealing you from truth okay for instance you know just just telling you you can do whatever you want or that sort of thing you know a good example of a false prophet is the news media fake news that's one that's another example another example is false teachings false doctrine uh, if it's not scriptural then and they're preaching something that's completely opposite of the scriptures false prophet uh, another is deception I mean uh, Noah Harari would definitely be considered a false prophet I mean it's, he's probably the definition of a false prophet but that's what we're coming to or think of it as maybe a uh, even a teacher or a preacher or some sort that is that is coinciding with with the governmental issues like they did in 2020 like closing the doors down of churches and wearing masks or getting the you know what and uh, a lot of like I, I i do believe that could lead to your false teachers false prophets sort of thing we are as to follow truth and the scriptures we are to follow what god says in the bible we're not to you know come up with our own theology that's not you know, we're, we're to follow what the scriptures say. And if you listen to the prophets that I listen to, they back everything up with scripture. You have to do that. You cannot prophesy unless you have scripture to prove what you are saying. Because that's truth. That's how truth comes out. And I truly believe that with all my heart. And then, you know, when you talk about the uh, seven mountains, you know, uh, I, I talk about this through my... Uh, through my teaching here. It's all of it scriptural. All of it. Because it's said to make disciples of nations. And what are nations? We know that. We know what nations are. So here's my point. The signs we're living in now, the signs of the times, are they the signs of the return of Jesus Christ? I would say yes, and no. Yes, these are signs of things to come and end time events. No, I think these are signs of a transition that is coming, a transition of glory, a transition of the seven mountains, uh, a new government, a transition or a, uh, you know, a, any, any of those that reflect on what we're seeing right now 
Because right now, we're exposing the enemy. And when the enemy is exposed, he ramps things up twice as high. More and more. I mean, just, just keeps on going. So what are we seeing now? We're seeing an amazing, glorious period, revival, healings, miracles, signs, wonders that are coming. Reality of God. That is the whole point of this channel. That is what we're seeing right now. We're going to see God's reality show himself to this world. This world that is blind, this world that is lost, and once we see this happen, and once God's glorious bride, his church, his ecclesia, is finally completed, every mission is done, then, then, we are to be taken, okay? I don't like using the term rapture. I like, I like using the term taken as his bride or his glorious bride being taken for the uh, supper, lamb supper, uh, what's it called? Lamp supper or supper of the lamb. I, oh my gosh. It's the heat. It's getting to me. It's kind of melting my brain right now. But again, this is what this whole channel is about. I'm here to show God's reality. I'm here to prove that the prophets, Robin Bullock, Kat Kerr, Hank Kuhneman, uh, Dutch Sheets, all of them are real. They're prophetic because they stand on the Word of God. They stand on only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. It's a, their complete stand on all of that. I've witnessed it in, in person with them. So, in fact, it doesn't make me want to draw away from God. I've never wanted to draw closer to God than I've ever had in my life. And so I want to draw as close to him as possible. That's what we need to do as an ecclesia is draw closer. We need to be a witness to the world. We need to give people hope, show people that this is not doom and gloom time, but this is a time to rejoice because there's mass celebrations coming. There's glorious times coming. And I believe it's going to happen by the end of this year. I really do. So keep that in track because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to document it. I'm going to document the celebration when it happens. So, again, glorious times are coming. God has a much bigger plan than anyone would ever think. He's not going to just leave this world the way it is. I know this world is a mess. It's been a mess for a long, 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 long time. Now it's time for a change. And it's time for God's reset, not Satan's reset. It's time for his reset, God's reset and for us to rejoice because bigger days bigger things bigger everything is coming we're going to see a church where you're just going to want to be at 24 7. That's, I, I truly believe that with all my heart you just want to be drenched with the glory of god every single day and that's how this world needs to be kind of going dare i say it back to eden <laughs> in a way all right uh, enough of that. I won't get too much into that. But anyways, all right. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go get in my air-conditioned car, head home, and just drink some Gatorade and relax for a little bit. It is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the uh, fathers out there. And uh, God bless all of you. Hopefully, uh, you have a great day. By the time you probably see this, uh, by the time you see this uh, video, it'll probably be way past Father's Day. But that's okay. But happy Father's Day. And late Father's Day for those who are, who are, I probably won't get this uploaded till tonight. So God bless you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.